Hey, I'm Jeff. And I'm Phil, and we're the Cocktail Dudes. Today we're making the Caprice Martini. Very good drink. <sighs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Very delicious, but very different, right? Yes. Very different. Completely different. Kind of odd. Sort of like one of us. Who's odder, do you think? You or me? Uh, that's a toss-up. I know. You're pretty odd. <laughs> but then so am I. Two peas in a pod. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, that would be a good drink. That would be a good drink. Two peas in a pod. Two peas in a pod. I have some ideas already. I do too. Peas yeah. and bacon vodka. Because it's like split pea soup. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was already thinking along those really? lines. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> the Caprice Martini is based on the Caprice salad, mm -hmm. which I never call it a Caprice salad. I just say tomato basil salad, right? Right, right. Tomato, fresh tomato, mm -hmm. basil, mozzarella, mm -hmm. and uh, usually some fruity olive oil, although I put balsamic vinegar, balsamic vinegar on mine, yeah. much to Jackie's annoyment. 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 Is that the right word, annoyment? I don't know if that's a annoyment. word. Annoyment. <laughs> it is now. It sounds like ointment. <laughs> yeah, it sounds very clinical. <laughs> um, so, you know, you think of tomato and spirits. Bloody Mary. Yeah. This does not taste like a Bloody Mary. Not even close. But it's a very pleasant brunch time drink. Mm -hmm. You've got the sweetness from the basil syrup with the complexity of the gin and salt and pepper and you're thinking like, this is crazy talk. But it's a very light, pleasant drink. Oh, yeah. It's one of those, your first sip, you're thinking like, oh, my God, what is this rolling down my throat? But after the second one, right, mm -hmm. you realize what a delight it is. It's just like whenever I had that salad, the first time I've ever had a Capri, and I called, didn't call it a Capri salad, but the first time I ever had it, I was like, this is different. You know, it's a little bit sweeter than a salad would normally be. It's got a lot of complexity. There's the basil in there that kind of gives it a little bit of a mint flavor. Yeah. And you're just like, oh my god, this is so different. It's good. That's how the drink is. Yes. And I never was, I'm not really a huge tomato fan. But, a, you know, a tomato basil salad is good. Mm -hmm. When my mom said, eat your fruits and vegetables, the vegetable I chose was the potato, usually in a fried form. Kid, that's not even a vegetable. No, it is a vegetable. That's a, that's a carb. No, it's that's a vegetable. It's a complex carb. <laughs> In my fruits, I chose the grape. Love grapes. In the form of fermented grape juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you mean wine. You mean wine. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm getting my food pyramid. I'll do, I'll do my food pyramid, you do yours. <laughs> sure. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to um, use cherry or grape tomatoes. If, you, if you're using grape, you want eight Cherry mm -hmm. tomatoes, which are the larger, of course, choose six. Um, with some gin, basil syrup, lime juice, and a little bit of salt and pepper. Yeah? Mm hmm We prefer gin. You can use vodka. Yep. We use the, uh, this Mulaka gin from Tanqueray, if you can find that. Otherwise, the Plymouth gin will work fine. Why are you smiling? Because <laughs> I'm saying the dirty I'm, word, Mulaka? No, I'm thinking of the Greek, you know, yes. what Mulaka means. And I'm thinking, okay, that's like what, lazy, you know, lazy boy or something like that. Yeah. Look in the so mirror, <laughs> kind of, yeah, kind of a spo spoilt. Now that's a word, spoilt, right? Right. If you're spoil, if you're spoiled. You're spoiled. spoiled. My gosh, yeah. I need to get a dictionary <laughs> or something today. Yeah, it's like a spoiled, lazy kid. Yeah. So lazy. if you have too many of these for brunch, you're gonna have a lazy afternoon. That's for sure. Yeah, well, that's not always bad, is it? No, it isn't. Yeah. All right. Let's start. We're going to put eight of our grape tomatoes in the bottom of a Boston shaker. You want to cut these up because if they're whole and you go to muddle, they'll explode. Yeah. You're going to make a big mess. Unless you shoot your eye out. And you, unless you want it to look like you just murdered somebody with, like, tomato all over you. and Yeah. Could we have a measuring beaker, would you? Cut them up. Sure. Did you ever... <clears throat> Put like one of those ketchup packets in your mouth and like pretend like you got shot and bite on it. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. Of course. They don't make those anymore, I don't think, very often. Oh, well, I suppose they do. Yeah, they do. A two and a half ounces of gin or vodka. Yeah, we should do that all the time. <laughs> See, that's another vegetable, tomato. No, a tomato's a fruit. That's up to the I think a page. tomato is a fruit. We're going to muddle these. 
you're going to end up straining them through a strainer so most of the seeds uh, and all of the uh, peels will be left behind. But you want that nice acidic juice from the tomato. Mm -hmm. That's the first thing that comes out is all those seeds. Yeah. Nice. There all right. Go. We're going to do one and a quarter ounce of our basil syrup. Now, you can watch us make this basil syrup. It's necessary for this cocktail, but it's not hard to do, right? No, not at all. Three ingredients, knead the stove, boil it, super concentrate the water. Yeah. It's Seek easy. It, you're good. And then we have a lot of great cocktails you can use with that. Mm -hmm. Oh, allow me. <laughs> Don't just sit there, you master. I was waiting for you to pour it. I love the smell of this. When you make it, it'll last you a good six, eight weeks. So you yeah. have plenty, you know, plenty of time to use it. You don't have to rush it. And then we're gonna do one ounce of lime juice. I can already smell it. It smells like the salad. I can smell it. It smells good. Oh my gosh! I just got sprayed in the eye with the lime. <laughs> Thank God I had my safety glasses on. We were all worried about the we tomatoes. Should wear, we should wear goggles. Safety first. We should start warning people Safety. about limes now. <laughs> Safety first. Oh my god. <laughs> we need to get one of those signs and hang it behind, behind us, you know. This studio accident free for two hours. <laughs> That's about as long as we've ever gone. We don't need an OSHA after us. I got, this in my, I got my lime juice in my eye. I wonder if I could lose my eye because of that. I don't think so. I don't we should, know. We should have an eye wash station, though, just in case. Oh, yeah. We, that would be awesome. <laughs> All right. One ounce lime juice. And we need one of those things. Did you have this in chemistry lab? The big, long thing, which had a towel rolled up in it? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So if you caught on fire... <laughs> Grab just, the towel. Yeah. yeah. And you just roll did you ever, it. Did you ever go into that thing? No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. I won't comment on that. <laughs> We're going to do just a pinch. Hang on. A pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper. All right. There we go. Jeez, splashed myself. Oh my gosh. <laughs> nice. We're gonna strain this into a coupe glass or a saucer glass. You can use a martini glass as well. Nice. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to garnish it with a little grape tomato, a little pearl mozzarella, and a basil leaf on a skewer. And there you have your Caprice Martini. Delicious brunch time cocktail. Enjoy. Cheers.